Hey everyone, my name is Jenna Bradshaw and this is my first video on YouTube and I wanted to start my journey on YouTube kind of um, speaking about my cancer survivor story and you know how I got through times of adversity. I'm young adult. Um, I was diagnosed with AL pre B leukemia at age three and a half. Um, fought that battle long and hard, and um, you know, grew up in a family where health and wellness was viewed as number one priority. And um, my parents were very much involved, and they had their own business in the health and fitness industry, and so. I wanted to like share my experience and give you some tips and tools that you can take with you in order to live a healthy and fulfilled life, especially like if you are battling um, with cancer or you've been through that journey and now you are going through the healing process. Um, this journey is also part of my healing process. And so I wanted to bring this to you guys and um, kind of like just discuss how um, the journey was and how we can get through adversity. And um, yeah, I hope this, this finds you and finds it helpful for you all. Um, so like I said, I was diagnosed at age three and a half with AL pre B leukemia, pediatric cancer survivor. And um, I didn't know this at the time. I found this out later on in life that my parents were told by the doctors, hey, uh, even though she's in remission, there may be a chance that she will develop another cancer down the road. Um, I actually happen to be part of that statistic. Uh, I learned that 80% of pediatric cancer survivors um, develop some type of chronic illness or disease or another form of cancer down the road. And so, you know, I was able to live my life, get back into sports. Um, my parents, again, are very health conscious. So the way that we introduce certain foods and, um, you know, the role that played in my journey. And so, played sports, went through high school. Um, track and field was my preferred sport. I um, attended um, college. It was a student athlete. I threw javelin and I was a short sprinter. It was awesome. And then in my junior year of college, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. I did not know this at the time. Um, I found out after the surgery. So I had half my thyroid removed. Um, however, no medication, no radioactive iodine. And, you know, I've been cancer free for the last seven years. And so, um, again, I just kind of wanted to start my journey in terms of, um, helping you all out and giving you some hope in terms of like where to turn to, who to talk to. Um, there's a huge emotional component that a lot of us neglect. And for those of you going through this and or have gone through and still suffering the consequences in terms of like maybe being triggered by certain things, certain smells, certain sounds, um, this is normal. And so you just have to realize you got to heal yourself internally in order to feel better about it and just um heal and live your life and you know be grateful um I was actually on a call last night um with stupid cancer which is a great nonprofit organization so I do suggest young adults who are going through or pediatric cancer survivors who have gone through are going through this is a great community to be a part of and so I got on the call and I was with um two other women who were three other women who were also pediatric cancer survivors. Each one of us had a different story. Each one of us had different cancers. Each one of us lived in a different state. And we all felt the same way, which was so, um, you know, intriguing to me because, and also just helped me heal a little bit more just because I'm over here thinking, oh my God, nobody understands. Like I, nobody else has been through this. It's It's tough. And so to hear like, oh no, I feel the same way. Like I'm still going through this healing process in terms of, you know, actually one of them stated how like every developmental stage, she's going through a different 
um, healing or emotional journey. Each developmental stage, different healing, different journey, more things unlock, more things come into play. And so I just wanted to hop on here and let you guys know that, you know, there is, um, there is hope, <laughs> you know, just because you were diagnosed doesn't mean it's a death sentence and um, stay positive stay healthy and I will continue to share more information, more education on this and my journey altogether. So until next time.